Well, there is a hot new spot down here on the South Shore. We want to tell you all about it. It's called Chimayo Restaurant up there on Ski Run Boulevard. With me in the studio this evening, Adam Hinojosa. Did I get that right? You did. I did. did. Good, yeah. good. Chef, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Busy as always. You good. Know? Yeah. Busy's good. Opening a new restaurant. Yeah. Takes a lot of effort. All yeah. the time. So tell me a little bit about what you do at Chimayo. Uh, what's great at Chimayo, we work uh, really hard, really closely with each other, with the ownership. Um, smoke a lot of meat, which is great. Go in there in the morning, load all the meat up, smoke it fresh every day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's like my zen moment of the day to go in there and load the smoker. Uh, then we go into, you know, all the Mexican stuff, which is great. Awesome. You know, it's it's such a fun concept to be doing both the barbecue and the Mexican. It's like definitely my two favorite things to do. For sure. I mean, I'll bet you like the, the real estate value right in the area of where you are right there has just gone through the roof because that smell is just something you want to be around all Yeah, the time. it's marketable. It's, <laughs> it is. It has some saleability. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you got into uh, into the kitchen and, and your culinary background. Uh, my story is very long as far as the culinary story is concerned. I started very young, 14, uh, at a Heidi's, actually with my cousin, and uh, just was enamored with the whole, you know, getting everything to the window, all the teamwork, all the, you know, controlled chaos. It was just something that was really appealing to me. Yeah. Um, I went to high school down in Douglas County, so I ended up going to culinary school in Portland, um, graduated in 2000, you know, seems like forever ago. And then came back, made my way back, and just had a really good run here. Uh, did the Riva Grill, which was great. What a great company to work for. Um, now, yeah. you know, went to the Bay Area for about five years, opened several places, really honed my culinary skills, and I wanted to bring that back here. That's awesome. I mean, what a wide variety of uh, places to get ideas from. Basically, a big think tank on, on how to get ideas and put, putting together different ingredients and flavors. And now you have this opportunity at this restaurant to blend all those together, yeah? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, we have a no rules policy, you know? So they pretty much just turn me loose and, you know, I get inspired all the time by all kinds of stuff. Uh, we just added an amazing beef rib. It's ginormous. Um, we love it. We smoke it overnight. And then we just started a uh, short rib mole enchilada. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's to die for. The combination it's, of that smoke plus the Mexican flavor in there, fantastic. Yeah, it's just the integration of both concepts constantly. It's just really inspiring to me. So I just really get to come up with some cool stuff. Now I hear that you're working also with the local produce and, and really sourcing your stuff locally. Yeah, we like to talk to farmers. We like to talk to ranchers. You know, we just had some great ranchers in the other day. They're just having a beer and you know we bought a pig from them and we thought wow. you know what a great opportunity to kind of showcase uh local farmers local ranchers and then just kind of bring their product direct to the people you know i like yeah. to try to cut out as much as that middle person as possible you know? well and then you know where you're getting your food from too that's a huge statement i mean that says a lot how important it is for you to source it straight to as best you can straight to where it's coming from yeah it's it's what a wonderful area to be able to do that in. All the ranches in Nevada, you know, all of the Northern California farmers are coming in. Um, it's just this round robin of different products that are available to inspire us. And then we get to give it back to the community, all this handcrafted um, food. You know, we cure and smoke our own bacon. We pickle wow. all of our own pickles. Like, it's just a real dedication to handcrafting food. Let people know exactly where you're located, because I think there's going to be a lot of people who want to come in and check you out. What's uh, hours we're, we're right on Ski Run Boulevard. We just started new hours. Uh, we'll be opening 3.30 at the bar, 4 o'clock for happy hour, and 5 for dinner. Fantastic. Thanks for coming in this evening. It's good to see you. Thanks so much. Everybody yeah, I can't wait to time. stop in there. Sounds good. All right, we have more Tahoe Tonight coming your way right after this.